to text and transcription made easy and free. In our day-to-day -day lives, there are so many situations where we wish we had an easy-to-use dictation system. An idea crosses our mind, we verbalize it out loud, magically it becomes a text that we can use it and even share. Sometimes we need a full conversation transcribed. It can be an insight interview with a potential client, a podcast episode, or even a presentation we gave and we know we can repurpose it in many different ways. It will be nice to be able to do these things quickly and easily, and even better, cheap and even for free. Well, now this is possible and this video is about how to do it. Long ago, there were days where drug and dictation was the best option around. I tried it a couple of times, but after investing a lot of time and money, I always got frustrating results with it. Nowadays, thanks to tech advance, speech recognition software options abound and the problem becomes which to choose from. At this moment, my favorite is utter voice notes because it's very easy to use. It can go with you in your pocket wherever you go. And it offers a free plan that includes 600 minutes of complimentary transcription per month. Yes, every month you have 600 100 minutes to use. It's a great deal. Their catch is that they make their software and app so easy to use that you may start needing more minutes. So here is an overview on how to use it. First, start by setting your free account. You can do this either in your desktop or mobile device. You just have to go to their website go to the sign up button and follow the instructions. Then you will have a username that is your email and the password that you will use to log in in any platform that supports utter voice notes. Then to how to use it, just log in to your account and I advise you to start by going to the settings here and then look for, scroll down until you find Teach Utter Your Voice. Click there. And here you'll have a text that you can click the record button and you can read the text and this will help you utter learn your unique voice. Just follow their prompts. Then you can see your recording and its transcription in the conversations page. If you want to start a new recording, you just have to click the start recording button. It starts recording and you can see the transcription happening. You can pause it. You can resume the recording and you can stop the recording here. Then you see the recording and its transcription save again in the conversations page. To transcribe a pre-recorded conversation, you just have to click on the import audio video here and then you can choose a file or a files or just drag them and drop them here. You will see the progress going on there and the status that it is. When it says success here, you are able to proceed by clicking done. Then you will see it here again under the conversations page. Then to check or edit a conversation, you just have to pick the one that you want to check and edit. I'm going to 
pick here My Voice Print, click on the name, will take you to the transcription, and you will see the when you over the mouse, over the text, you will see this window showing up. Just click on the edit button there, and then you are able to edit. And once you are done, you can click the done button. To export a transcript, you just have to go here to the three little dots at the top right, click on them, and then select export text. Uh, select your options. I want a text file. Uh, no need to include the speaker's name. I want to keep the time span. I, let's merge same speaker segment so I can see here the preview and then press continue and will download the text file in my computer. I always can go back to the conversation list by clicking conversations here at the top or here. And then I'm back here to the list. I can delete the conversations that I don't want to keep by clicking the symbol here of the trash can and then confirm. Or if I'm within a conversation, let me go back here to my voice print. Uh, I can go back to the three little dots in the top right and select delete. If I want to cancel, I just click in the white space here. Another important detail that you can control is with the play of the recording in front of the play button, you will have a number. If you click there, you can control the playback options like the speed. So select the slower speed, for instance. And then you just click somewhere else in the white space and that keeps that speed that you have selected. Uh, there is some other things that you can do in the settings. For instance, if you go here on the settings, you can integrate with Zoom. You just have to scroll down, go to connected apps there, and then click on connect your Zoom account. Before you do this, I recommend that you click on this interrogation mark and read through all this information. I personally prefer not to do this automatic connection. When I need a transcription of a recorded Zoom call, I always can import the audio of the video and this way I save lots of minutes. You can do a lot on your mobile device, but personally, I use my iPhone to do recordings of notes I want to transcribe. I do the editing later in my desktop just because it's more comfortable. And to do a recording on the go, just open your app on your phone and then click the blue button and the recording starts and you can see the transcription happening. You always can pause it and restart it. And when you are done, you press the stop button. To check your recordings, go to the conversation tab here and you will have a list of all the recordings that is automatically synced with your computer. If you want to delete a conversation, you just swipe left and select delete. As I said before, the beauty of this is that the recordings are automatically sync between your devices and your computer. Just give it a try and have some fun and you will see that Recording notes can be easy peasy lemon squeezy. And if you are a member of Tech Tips for Coaches, you have detailed tutorials with step by step instructions and screenshots on how to do this and many, many other resources there. Learn, impact, and enjoy. This is Anna Malikian, the founder of TechTipforCoaches.com.